Alright, welcome everyone in this tutorial about making one multicasted event for all of our character actions. So this goes by, uh, I'm making this video because I was being asked on the forum about it. Uh, I didn't plan making it. So this is a new template I just created in 4.18. Uh, third person template. I, I chose this template because I believe I can r I can play in multiplayer right away and most of it is working whereas other templates are not always working in multiplayer. Alright so this is working. I'm going to open up our third person character blu blueprint. So I, talk I talk about our conversation with my programmer and he told me that the, the solution I gave you on the forum was a bit complicated. Uh, and so I want to suggest two different solutions for, for our problem. So I'm going to create a new folder for that. It's going to be called um, utility. We're going to need uh, an, an enumeration. This is going to be the list of our of actions. Our character can take, and maybe also anything that actually do do stuff in the game. So let's suppose we have um, we we are going to make something more like more close to what you asked primary skill let's say let's say we have reload and let's say we have sing secondary skill so one of the quickest way to do what you asked me is to do something like this so I'm creating different events that are going to to be the main logic the, 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 the drivers of our logic the, the ID the idea will be uh, let's say our left mouse button input is our primary primary fire function and let's say our R input is our reload function alright so So this is going to be the event call by, by our inputs. So this is going to ask for an action to be taken. <coughs> so I'm creating an, an event with uh, the parameter, with the enum we just created, e action. So we also have this in there, this in there, and this in there. So this is always the action to take notice how I checked that box reliable, reliable because you don't want these events not to be taken into account in your in your network so what does left mouse button does is calling input pressed and it says hey I wanna I wanna cast primary skill and R says, hey, I want to cast reload. And right mouse button says, hey, I want to cast sec secondary skill. So they, all, they are all calling this event. And we actually want everyone to see what's going on when this character presses its inputs. By everyone, I mean every machine, every remote client. So when the input when the input is pressed, it's going to ask the server to broadcast the action to take. What is going to, the server is going to tell everyone to dis, to trigger that action. So he's going to multicast take action. And what is going, what is take action is going to do? Is just going to say take action. All right. 
So now you have this these systems allows you to broadcast any action only with these three events. You can add a number of actions, any number of actions you want here. And then you're going to dispatch your action to text like this. So what's going on when when he presses primary skill? Well, I believe you're going to say something like open auto fire rate or something of the sort or trigger weapon shot. I, I don't know. You're also going to have reload for instance. So you can trigger weapon shot and you can reload. So this is this is the the, the same kind of idea I was suggesting on, on the forum, but it's just simpler to execute. But it's also have less modularity. But but I think I think that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to wrap up that project and that video and I'm going to send that to you. Alright guys, bye bye. See you in the next one.